Can you imagine a world where your old rusty bicycle could be the key to solving our energy crisis? Welcome to a reimagined Iron Age where iron is more than just a scrap metal, it's an energy gold mine. Iron you see burns without releasing any greenhouse gases. Yes, you heard right, it burns. And the byproduct of this combustion? Rust. But here's the kicker. This rust can be converted right back into iron and then burned again. We're talking about a revolution in the way we power our world, a green alternative that could replace our dependence on fossil fuels. And the wheels are already in motion. Test power plants are developing technology as we speak, with the ambition to inaugurate the first iron-based power plant by, wait for it, 2030, that's right. The Iron Age is back and it's cleaner and greener than ever. Iron, it seems, is much more than just a scrap metal. You might be wondering how can iron possibly be an energy source? Well, it all begins with a process called oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that occurs when a substance reacts with oxygen. You see this every day when an apple turns brown after being cut open or when iron rusts. But did you know that this same process can also release energy? Just like other metals, iron can burn. It might sound strange, but it's a phenomenon you've likely witnessed before. Remember the sparks from sparklers during a festive celebration? That's burning iron powder at work. The burning process of iron is similar to the combustion that occurs in a coal-fired power plant. It requires temperatures of around 1,800 degrees. And during this process, energy is released in the form of heat. But here's the kicker. Unlike coal, burning iron doesn't release a single molecule of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. That's right, iron burns without emitting any greenhouse gases at all. This makes it a green alternative to fossil fuels and a potential superstar in the world of renewable energy. Now you might be thinking, well that's great, but isn't iron a finite resource? Not exactly, iron is the fourth most common element in the Earth's crust. It's mined in several parts of the world with large deposits found in countries like Brazil, Australia and China. The gray iron ore is extracted from open pits and crushed, then heated to over 1,500 degrees to produce cast iron. This abundance and accessibility make iron a readily available resource for energy production. And the best part? The residual product from iron combustion is rust, which can be converted back into iron and burned again. This means that potentially we could reuse iron indefinitely as an energy source. So the science is clear, iron holds a vast untapped potential as a renewable energy source. This brings us to the brink of a new iron age where our old rusty bicycles could be the key to a sustainable future. So, what does the future hold for iron as an energy source? This isn't a question we ask ourselves every day, but perhaps we should. Recent experiments have shown that both finely ground iron powder and even rust can play pivotal roles in a completely new type of power plant. Imagine a world where our carbon dioxide emissions could be reduced by as much as 20%. That's one-fifth of the total just by harnessing the power of one of the planet's most common elements. The potential of iron energy is staggering, and the best part, this isn't just theoretical, it's happening now. Scientists are working tirelessly to make this a reality. The ambition is to inaugurate the first ironworks before the year 2030. It's a bold goal, but one that could revolutionize the way we think about energy and our planet's future. But there's one piece of the puzzle that's crucial to making this work. Being able to reuse the iron indefinitely. The concept is simple. Burn the iron, harness the energy, convert the residual rust back into iron, and repeat. This creates a cycle of energy that could theoretically go on forever without causing any harm to our planet. But putting this into practice is a complex task. However, even that challenge is one we're close to overcoming. Engineers are working around the clock to crack this nut. They're developing technologies that will allow us to keep using the same iron over and over again. It's a process that's as fascinating as it is essential. As we look to the future, it's clear that the role of iron in our energy landscape is set to change dramatically. No longer just a trusty metal used in construction and manufacturing, it's poised to become a key player in our transition to a greener, more sustainable world. As we stand on the brink of a new Iron Age, it's clear that this humble element could be a game-changer in our fight against climate change.